What's up, y'all? This is Koi2281 here, and I have great news for you guys. Red Snow 0.9 has come out to jailbreak 3.1.2 on iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, with this jailbreak, guys, you will be able to change your boot logo and stuff like that, just like you could with um, Snowbreeze. But, guys, I actually prefer this method because I think it's actually easier. But first of all, guys, I need you to go to the links that I put in the description. Just click more info, guys. There will be a link for Red Snow, and there will also be a link for the firmware that you need, 3.1.2. Anyway, guys, um, for the firmware site, it will look like this. You're going to scroll this little box right here down, and you're going to select 3.1.2 for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Then, after Red Snow and your firmware is on your desktop, then you're ready to begin, guys. First of all, you're going to open up Red Snow. Click the bottom one. Okay, guys, now first of all, it's going to ask you to browse for your firmware that you downloaded. So just go to Browse. There's the firmware, 3.1.2. Click on that, and then open it up. Okay guys, now iPhone 3GS users and iPod Touch 2nd generation users will see this box, which means that you will not be able to turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch. So, make sure that you fully read that and you understand what you're doing, and if you've done that, it's going to give you the option to install Cydia, Custom Boot Logo, Custom Recovery Logo, and Already Pawn. Already Pawn means that your iPhone or iPod Touch has already been jailbroken, so I'm going to select that. And I do want a custom boot logo, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to browse for it. Then open it up. And that's pretty much it, guys. So make sure that if you have not jailbroken yet, you want to get Cydia. Then press Next. Okay, guys, now you want to take your iPhone or iPod Touch. Make sure that it's not plugged in. You want to turn it off. Okay, guys, now what I want you to do is, while holding down on the home button right here, I want you to plug in your USB cable. Keep holding the home button down once it is plugged in. Okay, guys, now we have entered recovery mode. It will already start to jailbreak. should get this image right here guys just told me that jailbreak is done so mine won't take very long at all to um, install because all I did was just put a custom boot logo on there It will reboot itself. And there's my custom boot logo, guys. It's the same one I picked.
and congratulations, you have jailbroken your iPhone or iPod Touch. It's that simple, guys. This is Koi2281. Please rate this video five stars and subscribe, guys, and I will see y'all later. Peace.